Welcome back to my channel, my name is Rachel Anna. So I had a very random craving for some jerk the other day and there are plenty of ways to enjoy jerk seasoning without animals. So I thought let me share a couple of those recipes with you guys so you guys can enjoy them the way that I enjoy them. If you have any barbecues lined up, these recipes will definitely shock a couple non-vegan people because they are really delicious and some of them even mimic the look of meat so that might just surprise them anyway. And if like me you're in the UK and it's still winter, just have them to warm yourself up and to just enjoy some jerk. So I hope you guys enjoy these recipes. So the first one we're making today is jerk vegan pulled jackfruit. So this one is incredibly delicious and uh, looks like pulled pork which is quite scary. But anyway, let's get straight in. So the first thing we are doing is making a jerk seasoning. You can of course buy a jerk paste, make your own favourite jerk paste or use this one. So all we have is some green onions, some scallions and then I'm going to blend these down a little bit so I have a little bit more room and then I'm adding a scotch bonnet. Obviously add as many scotch bonnets as you like, as much heat as you like. I'm just adding one because I'm not that good with heat. Then I'm adding a huge chunk of ginger, some garlic, some thyme, some tamari, some olive oil, a bit of tomato paste. I squeezed some fresh orange. I also added some white wine vinegar, some lime, a bit of molasses for a bit of sweetness. I added some pink salt, and then I went in with some allspice, a bit of nutmeg, and a bit of cinnamon. And then you just blend it all together to make your jerk paste. Now I am making pulled jerk jackfruit. So to a pan, I am gonna cook down some onions, some garlic, you can obviously cook these down with water if you prefer, if you're oil free. Then I'm just gonna cook this down and then to keep in with the theme, I'm adding a little bit of allspice and I'm also adding some fresh thyme. And I'm just gonna cook these on a very low heat until they tender up. Once they've tendered, I'm gonna add my jackfruit, which I have washed down thoroughly. Just put it in the pan and I also added a bit of vegan chicken seasoning to this. Now I really like to kind of slow cook jackfruit down so it gets really tender and kind of takes out the natural taste of the jackfruit away and infuse it with all these different seasonings. So I've added a bunch of vegetable stock to the jackfruit and I'm just gonna slow cook this down until all the water evaporates. As you can see here, the jackfruit has really turned into this pulled pork look, which is quite, you know, realistic, which is a bit scary. And then I just add the jerk paste directly to this. The footage to that had an error message to it, so I can't actually show you, but all I did is throw jerk paste, throw it in the oven, and then bang, it comes out like this. My mum saw this and was actually a little bit shocked how realistic it looked to pork, which is creepy. So to go with this, I am making a very basic mango slaw. So I've just got some red cabbage, some chopped up mango, a lot of coriander, or as you call it in America, cilantro, and then I'm throwing some fresh lime all over this. You can also add a little bit of olive oil and salt and pepper. Mix it all together and you have a very basic, delicious mango slaw. So to make my pulled jackfruit jerk burger, well that's a long one to say. I've just got a burger bun, so I'm gonna add the jackfruit to the bun and I'm just gonna coat it on top with the mango slaw. You can, of course, add any of your favorite toppings, whether that be avocado, tomato, any of your favorite trimmings to make the burger your favorite kind of burger. I've just kept it very simple and done the mango slaw and the jerk jackfruit. And this is very impressive, very delicious. Just take a minute. So now we are gonna be doing the jerk black beans. And if you didn't already know, like most people know, black beans are very nutritious and very delicious. So I really hope you guys enjoy them with the jerk twist. Let's get straight in. Now we are making some jerk black beans with that same jerk paste. So I'm just adding some onions and garlic to the pan. I'm gonna cook these down. And I'm also gonna throw in some thyme and some allspice. And for me personally, I love throwing a whole bunch of ginger to this. I love the taste of ginger with the black beans. So I go in with some fresh ginger, throw it all in and cook it down. Then I'm just gonna add my jerk paste to this, cook it down a little bit more. And then of course I have to throw in the black beans, followed by a tin of plum tomatoes and a tin of water. You can use vegetable stock instead, whichever you have, whichever you prefer. Then you just mix it all together, pop a lid on it, 
let it simmer and let it cook down on a low heat until you finally have the finished product, which is this. Some jerk black beans. Close your eyes if you don't like oil because we've got some planting cooking. So for the jerk black beans, I just made some brown rice to go with this. So I'm just gonna put some brown rice in a bowl and then put my jerk black beans on top, followed with the mango slaw and some planting. You could go crazy with this and add a whole bunch more trimmings, but I didn't wanna go overboard here. It is delicious enough just like this. So now this one is like a cauliflower steak, but just drizzled with a bit of jerk seasoning on the top. And if you barbecue this or use some liquid smoke, you really get that kind of authentic barbecue kind of look and slight taste to it without using meat, which is amazing. Have you guys seen that meme where people, what is it? It's like when vegans really try and tell you that chicken is like cauliflower, something like that. Because cauliflower has a really amazing texture. It doesn't taste like chicken, obviously. I don't even want to talk about ch chicken doesn't really taste. I don't want to talk about that. But it has a great texture. When you season it well and you cook it well, it is really delicious. And obviously there's like no calories in it, so it's kind of like a win-win situation. The quinoa kidney bean rice and peas is just so delicious. It's so light and so fluffy and so delicious. So I hope you guys enjoy it. So now we are making some rice and peas, but with quinoa instead, because we're trying to keep it a little bit healthier. So I'm adding some coconut oil to a pan with some garlic, some thyme, some galleons, green onion, cooking it down a bit, adding some salt and some pepper. And then I'm adding in some water along with some coconut milk. I will put the full recipes for this on my blog so you guys can check it out if you do want to make it yourselves. Then I'm adding my quinoa, which I rinsed thoroughly and mixing it all together. Then I'm adding some red kidney beans. You could also use some black eyed peas depending on which island you're from and which one you prefer. I'm using red kidney beans here. And then you just wanna cook it down until it gets really light and fluffy and it is so delicious, so delicious. Now we are making the cauliflower steaks. So I made these two ways because I wanted options to show you guys. So the first way I just lightly seasoned the cauliflower steaks, put them in the oven to cook down inside. And then I took them out of the oven, put them on a grill, and then I added a bit of the jerk paste on top. So this was more of like a subtle tasting jerk cauliflower. Then the other method is you just cover it in the jerk season it and throw it in the oven. So as you can see, this is what happens when you cover it in jerk seasoning. So it really depends on what you prefer. So I'm just gonna load it up with the quinoa and beans, followed by the mango slaw, and our nice jerk grilled cauliflower with some plantain, some scallions, some salt, some pepper, and we're good to go. And there we have the finished product. With a bit of lime, of course and there is the jerk freeways. Each of these recipes would be amazing at summer barbecues this year. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed these recipes. Please let me know in the comments down below if you're making these recipes or you have similar recipes. I would really love to know. And like this video if you did enjoy it and subscribe to my channel for new videos every week. Thank you so much for watching and I just wanna say I haven't replied to everyone in the comments, but I'm trying to because I really love hearing you guys' stories and the information you were sharing with me. So slowly but surely, I'm trying to get back to as many as I can. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Bye. Y'all know how I feel when I remember the planting.